Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Sunday night. Hope you've had yourself a wonderful weekend. And hopefully you enjoyed watching Smite's Mystery Tournament there. We had a couple good rounds uh, today, and I actually ended up, uh, well, I qualified. So I'm moving on from the prelims, and I guess we're moving on to, I guess, what would be the qualifiers and such, but... That won't be for quite a while. You can actually take, there's about four groups left. So you go to Charlie's check out uh, twitch.tv slash smite. And on Saturday, there will be a uh, mystery game uh, free for all where the one person who beats Smite's challenge will be moving on. But for, for tonight, I've had a bit of an urge uh, to actually play a couple of different games. I think, if anything, overall, I might be done with Beat the Backlog for the year. It's very close, so I don't want to be doing any real streaming or any serious streaming or anything like that. I'll commit to any more longer games. I'm very happy to leave it with Battle Chasers Night War. I had a great time uh, playing that RPG. I definitely spent a lot more time than I thought it would. Uh, going through going through it, I like more and more of the offline. Not in terms of progression or the story. But, tonight, we're going to be playing Dead or Alive, last round for the PC. There is actually a free-to-play. Uh, this is free-to-play. You can actually get it on Steam. You can download it. And I believe it gives you a certain amount of characters. However, you'd have to either, at least to my knowledge, buy the game uh, for more or less the full roster. A couple of characters like Mai, Shur, and I, and another character are locked uh, behind a paywall. I guess you would call it the paywall now. But, for tonight, I think it'd be nice to kind of go back and play through this. Unfortunately, I remember actually, I did stream this game. I streamed the story mode, actually. Unfortunately, well, we go continue. That's not what I wanted, actually. My mistake. Return to the timeline. It didn't save my progress. So, all my progress of uh, playing this game when I reached when I owned it before it went free to play has been completely erased. Just outright. So, all my progress, all my progression is completely gone. So, if you want, I'll be doing, trying to actually see if I can play with some other people online, but first before I do that, I want to show one thing that's actually my favorite part. It's one of the reasons actually why I like this game. Uh, the best out of a lot of fighting games. I've already gone through it with him, but uh, my favorite character is Jan Lee. <clears throat> And this has been a staple since the original series. I think, if anything, oddly enough, I think the original did it best. Hey, how's it going, History Master? How are you doing tonight? Was... I'm actually gonna... Go command list here. Sorry. Little buttons have been actually kind of screwed up here. You can actually take a look at the training mode here. So it actually will read your inputs and actually show you what your... Uh, where you are on the list here. I'm actually gonna go... let's see here, where are the basic moves? And I'll actually take you through <clears throat> all of the moves. I've already done it with Jen Lee, but you originally... You can see, once you actually execute the move properly, it'll actually show you that you've done the move right. One thing I kind of miss is the okay, great. Like, that was original in the original D uh, Dead or Alive 5. Or Dead or Alive, just the original Dead or Alive. And plus, this would be a good refresher for me. And you don't actually have to land the hits and such. Like, a lot of fighting games do their training modes, and I don't really like them. Just simply because they don't do it well enough. But 
So this is, like I said, just a nice refresher. <clears throat> I doubt I'll be using, uh, it, like, half of these moves, but still. <laughs> but I like it. But how are you guys doing tonight, though? Hopefully you're having yourself a good evening. Like, if you ever want to learn how to actually use a character, this is actually probably the best thing for it. Ah, oh, the good old Dragon Blow. Word of our community's acclaim spreads. Oh, thank you very much, Mecha GM, for the auto-host. Wrong one. I've always liked Jan Lee since the, uh, since the beginning of Dead or Alive. I don't know why. Like, maybe it's the outfits, maybe it's the personality. I just always like the character. But like I said, this has actually always been my favorite, uh, like, training mode out of all of them. They definitely took it a lot further in, uh, in this one. Come on. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, that's what it is. Also, you could actually just press R3 and it'll do a demo mode. There we go. Ah, my favorite. The dragon kick. <laughs> And always, and also the dragon elbow. I'm sorry, I just love half, like, all these moves. Like, Jan Lee is easily, like, your most basic fighter. But it's always, like, to me, it's also the most fun. But after I just simply go through this list here, I'm just gonna go and, uh, we'll go to online. Ah, oh, the throws. I love the throws. That's actually probably one of the things that actually made this game unique was the throws and counter throws. Although... One thing I will say, like, they did make this game a lot easier, so, like, they homogenized a lot of the movesets. So, whoops, that's the wrong one. There we go. Which is a positive and a negative, honestly. And also the holding system. So, like, any attack someone throws at you, you could actually counter with a hold. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, I remember, how do I turn back? Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Hang on. I'm trying to remember, actually. The one hard part about this game is, like, you're always having to do your, uh... Like, putting your back to an enemy. Like, didn't really teach that. Aside from that, that's kind of dumb, though. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Let's see, I think it was... No, that wasn't it. No, that wasn't it either. Trying... Like, that's one thing they definitely didn't teach. Like, if you're throwing... They didn't teach, like, how to actually... Put your back to an opponent. I don't remember how to do it, though. This? No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. 
There it is. Nope, that's a throw, though. Or maybe not, actually. Nope, that just stance changes. Yeah, I always had trouble with this. Like, the, the moment they added that set, uh, setup of having your back to an enemy, it always made it very difficult. So we're gonna quit out. But, if you want to actually take on, give a shot, I think we'll try the online mode here. Hopefully there's some people playing. I'm just going to be doing rank match, solo, region. Uh, we'll do same for now. I don't know what this means, like F, F plus, oh, that's rank, okay, so. But like I said, this is a completely free-to-play game. You can actually download it, you get a certain set of characters. I don't know if anyone's actually really playing. If not, then we might just do like the story mode, or I'll just do a bunch of random fights. I just was looking for a game to kind of relax and play with for fun. I have been thinking of actually doing like, uh, uh, like, uh, community nights, like game nights and such. That people can participate. Just kind of have fun. Also, this song. I don't understand it. Can listen to this song of rap. It was weird. I was actually having run into people earlier today. Hmm. Let's see something here. Let's go for any. I'm sure. Hopefully, if we expand it out as far as we can. Unable to find your <laughs> matching your search criteria. Really? Well, then why do you mention it to me? Don't think Dauntless might have actually been the better idea. It would be very difficult to actually get people... Like, is it just me? Or is it the last couple, like, maybe, I don't know, half decade or something? There's been so many fighting games happening... ...that... ...it's hard to actually cr cultivate an actual... ...player base for a fighting game, because there's just too many out there. I mean, way too many. Like, the moment another fighting game comes out, everyone from another fighting game will abandon it and move on to the next one. And I believe that's part part of that seems to be normal, but you would think now you could actually really create some sort of community that isn't always going to be of hardcore. I mean, that's why I guess Serling Games is making Fantasy Strike, which is a fighting game that's going to be like, effectively, like, between Dive Kick and Smash Brothers. Which is really weird, because they actually made forward back, uh, like, when you held forward on your, uh, directional pad, your character moves backwards. That's how you actually defend, is by moving forward in that game. Like, you have to unlearn everything. I don't think might have, this might have been a bad idea for a stream. A new there we go. Of course. Why do people? Why do they cancel the fight? Like, if you have such a small player base, why would you even want to say like, no, I'm not interested? I'm I'm really confused about that when it comes to this game. Like, it finds people, and yet they decide, no, nah, forget it. I'm not going to deal with it. Is it like there's got to be something I'm missing? Like maybe they're looking for specific people, probably. 
I mean, that is one downside. I mean, to my knowledge, this is actually the only way to do um, online play is the ranked match. Let's actually try. Let me actually check something. I think online. Yeah, I think online is just only rank mode. You leaderboards? Yeah, rank match. That's it. That's your only option aside from tag fight. Which I'm surprised, like, they didn't just do any. I'll give it one more shot. And if we don't actually find anyone or people just keep rejecting matches, then I'll move on. I think that's honestly the real big problem is that fighting games are always made and. Like, you get people to buy it and play it. But it's very hard to actually build, like, a player base for each, I guess, your level of play. Because the hardcores always seem like, I'll say this, like, it always, like, the hardcore players, if they can't make, become noticed or anything like that, they'll just move on to another game. I mean, I don't even know if we're going to get another Dead or Alive, because we didn't even get Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball 3, which really sucked, because a minority of people who wouldn't even buy the game anyway would railed against it so heavily that Tecmo didn't even release it out into the West. You had to own, like, you know, didn't even make it bother, like, didn't even bother making a PC port or anything like that. They just stuck with uh, PlayStation, what was it, PlayStation 4. There we go. Hopefully they accept. Eskimo, that's their experience. Maybe it's actually the range. Maybe it's the range. Oops. Oh, that is a lot of lag. That is a lot of latency. No, you don't. Oh! Oh, dear. She even got the stomp. Get out of here. Damn it. <laughs> Finally actually getting someone. out of here. Okay, there's a little bit of lag. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just getting my butt whooped. Maybe not. Ah, uh. oh, she got me in the leg sweep. <laughs> Really bad at lower it by guard. No, you don't. Ah, <laughs> nice job. Let's see. Can I? What do I do? Just search menu, controller, fight. I guess we do search menu? It's a little weird. Alright.
Maybe... I don't know if LR means any. I'm honestly curious about that. Hey, I remember you. Why do they cancel the fight? Let me try to see something real quick. So max, so I guess LR is the lowest. Wait, Topaz and my God, what's with these rankings? Fine, here we'll just do this. I guess LR is starting, and then Diamond is the best of the best. Let's just see what happens. I'm curious. I've never been great at fighting games, honestly. Like, I like them if I like the characters and such. And also a game, and also that can actually teach you how to play is even better. Because there's always so much nuance now that are thrown into fighting games that you can't even actually like. The, the, there's a huge difference between someone who's actually really good at this game and. Or just fighting games in general, and then like your average person. You know what? Let's do something ridiculous. It's Christmas. All my costumes got locked too because of the move over to Core Fighter, because they went free to play. I am ready. Get ready, fight! That should not have worked. That should not have worked. Ah, damn it. Oh my gosh. I really gotta re- I gotta learn a better controller setup. Like, I set up to a custom, but I think I'm it's costing me more than it's helping. Like, that was actually one of the great things about this, is like, they actually went full-on custom setup. <laughs> what? Okay, alright. You can jump over. That was a really good throw. God. Nope, I'm gonna lose this. Yep. <laughs> Why did that? I <laughs> got the tiger pounce. Why am I doing that? Oh my god. I would like to guard, please. Nope, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Clearly. First air throw. Doesn't look like you actually can make lobbies or anything like that. I guess that would actually cut the potential. 
of actually doing making this like a fight uh, for community nights. That's really sad, actually. I'm surprised they didn't make um they didn't make a lobby system or anything like that. You would think that would be like you would want that. It might I might be looking at the wrong area. It's like that was like a fighting game with the nowadays like live or die by having you know a good online support there's got to be something i'm missing i'm actually gonna yeah hold on a second i'm gonna back out of this if i can i do want to see one thing because if on online rank mode is your only way to play online with people that's pretty bad honestly especially when they went like a free-to-play model i I'm trying to think, is any other fighting games have gone for your play? Like, I know Street Fighter V, you still have to buy it, but you could unlock the characters by playing. Hang on, I'm gonna check something here. Let's see, you fight. Versus arcade, time attack. No, I think that's it, actually. Spectator, album, fight record, titles. Yeah. That's not good, honestly. Like, your only online mode is... Random... Friend, like, a roulette? That's kind of sad. DF, DF, DF. I guess that kind of scraps this idea then. Yep, exit of the lobby. Wondering why I wouldn't continue. I mean, rank match is fine for, like, fighting random people. That's still just dependent on, like, if you have a community to actually play your game. If you just want to play with friends and such, I mean, that's still something that I think you want, you would want to implement in this day and age. It's surprising that this game, especially when it goes free to play, because what reason why you go, games go to free to play. They need to reach out to as many people as possible. We stuck just listening to this rap for the next uh, next couple hours. Darn shame. Maybe something I'm missing here. I want to see something. Yep. Nope. Why would you cancel your fights? Honestly, it doesn't make sense to me. Let's see here. I'm actually going to take a look at the online. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Zach Mokoe did not add any sort of, uh, find, like, uh, direct matchmaking or anything like that, so you could just play with a friend. That 
really sucks, honestly. That's disappointing. Like, and this is, a, like, I'm reading the discussions on the Steam st uh, store page. Well, so much for this idea as being, like, a uh, community night, because if, if you don't have matchmaking, like a direct matchmaking or lobby system, which is weird, because I could have sworn this game originally had a better matchmaking system. That is disappointing. I mean, I like the game. I like the Dead or Alive series. I was not like the one downside is, you know, they homogenized a lot of the move sets in this game. So you'll be playing certain characters, and certain things are like certain moves are the same for every single character. Like they still have like their core set is still there because you can't revolution. You can't you know completely destroy the wheel. But in an approach to making it accessible to every, you know, fighting games more accessible, they, you know, what's, what do you do? You either homogenize your move set, so you're always going to know, like, a basic, you know, a core set that everyone can actually input to play. Apparently that was a sexy female player and they cancelled our fight. This is disappointing. I mean, I'm, I'm glad there's actually apparently people playing the game. But... I would rather see like a lobby sit like that's you know it's always the it's always the it's always the struggle like either you create a lobby system and you hope people join in kind of like shell shock and that can be very annoying but at the very least on that side you could always play with your uh, you know play with your friends or you let the game or you let the you rely on the developers. Oh my god, that hand is shaking. <laughs> While you rely on the developers to create a matchmaking system, and also I think there should be both. I mean, heck, I remember actually I used to play a lot of Street Fighter 4. Try and play That's online. You are. Get ready. Oh, there's that light compensation. <laughs> Really? That was faster? Why do I keep reaching for Y as my kick? Yeah, I think I need to change my setup. Oh, this lag is real. Stop my dragon kick. Ah, yeah. Nope. This is one laggy battle. Why do I keep doing that? I keep going for... Yeah, I guess I should be playing with the original setup. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get up moving. I gotta learn to guard low. Oh! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Insult to injury, the stomp. That, that person has come across so many times, they're just going to cancel their fight. I haven't won a single match yet. Yep. You know, I always wonder if actual Tecmo looks at this. I mean, maybe they probably abandoned it. I mean, now that they're working with... Uh, 
a lot of other games I do not want to play Ayane, thank you. I'm not good with her. I think the online has got worse over time, apparently, which is kind of sad. I mean, I shouldn't expect it, because it was a... When did I stream this game? Maybe back in 2015? I think that's when I streamed it. I am ready. Get ready, fight. Okay, apparently she gets priority. Well, we're going down a river ride. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. I would like to get a punch in, but she has me completely stunned. That was close, though. Ah, oh, it didn't throw me off. Why do I keep messing up my combo? I'm starting to think I have muscle memory problems here. What you're seeing is the lag, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, darn it. Damn it. Fancy little... Network error has occurred. Thank you, game. Uh, are you canceling the match? It kind of looks like you're canceling the match. I have no control over my character. I have no control over my character. I am... Am I? I... Yeah, I have no control over my character. So you just get to watch this in super slow motion. All of the... All that input for the last 15 seconds has basically been... What am I? What's what's going on now? Everything's in slow motion. I can't un I can't pause this or anything. Do I actually have to force quit? I think I actually have to force quit. Yeah, we're just gonna not play online. I'm gonna force quit this. That's that's sad. That is just sad. That is, that is a tragedy, honestly. Right, let's play the arcade mode. Let's just put it on... Yeah, let's see... I'm also kind of bummed everything got uh, removed. I'm just going to do it on normal. It's been way too long since I played this game. And we'll do random. Disappointment. Come on, let's do this. All right. <laughs> I got the dragon outfit. And the game crashed again. I cannot win. I cannot win tonight. That is. It crashed in arcade mode. Why? Tragedy. Oh, wait. I think I know what's going on. Uh, hang on. The set of the options. It's probably the throwdown mode. Online. 
No, nope, that just says that's the setup. Game settings. Online lag simulation. Set whether to simulate inter internet lag in offline modes. What? Dirt and sweat, hit effects. Oh, that's not... I have no idea what the heck happened then. Alright, let's do arcade again. Like, the one other problem with this game I notice is they really screwed up the controls. Like, if you're using a, um... Like, a standard 360 controller... For some odd reason, like, R L2 and R2 don't work unless you okay. use an older controller. Who do I main? Uh, Jen Lee. I'm not, like, it's been ages since I played this game. It has been ages. And I mean ages. Like, uh, I think if anything, one of my big downfalls when playing online fighting games now, or fighting games now, I can't remember all the moves. Like, that's, uh, that's always been my biggest problem, is never mind the fact, like, how much they actually expect you to like remember an input. I'm sure you regret this. All right. Let's do this. Get ready, fight. <laughs> Like, I think that's why, get, like, Serlin games like Fantasy Strike actually might have a chance in the market just simply because they don't know... You know, they know there's such a huge difference in disparity between people who, you know, play fighting games for so long compared to, like, someone like myself who's a newbie or who, like, lightly dabs in it. Like, this is normal. I'm getting my butt whooped against a normal computer. Like, uh, to a fighting game pro, that's like, oh, this is laughable. Move back, punch, spam together. See, I don't even know what you're talking about because of that. I find it laughable them beating everyone up in their Christmas outfits. Get it. Really? I would have gotten the, uh... Okay. That? Really gotta stop doing that. That just gets me in trouble. I'm surprised it actually does that. I haven't played Dead or Alive since the original, but like I said, it's been way too long. Like, I don't... I can't... I'm... Fighting games have never been... Actually, this had, I've always just been like a jack of all trades player. I like Dead or Alive too, though. That was probably, if anything, my probably the uh, when it was for me, like when it was at its best. Really, you are resisting my grabs. You're gonna get a headlock. You mean Tina and Helena? It was a while. Uh,
it was a while uh, when I tried to learn Helena, but like, I know certain things are just beyond me. And that's one of them. Like, I was never good at, uh, I was never good at Tina, the wrestlers. Like, the moment things get, like, too technical, like, that's the reason why I guess I main, uh, Jan Lee, is because, like, when he came out, he was basically the newbie. You know, he he had the simplest move set, but it also rewarded like the biggest amount of power. The downside, of course, is once you know how to fight a Jan Lee, the, let's be honest, Jan Lee becomes a joke. I think I now know why. Yeah, now I know why I'm constantly messing up my buttons. The muscle, like, what muscle memory I have is coming back. Also, I love the signs. You know every character counters since you're playing for so many years? Yeah, mine's been an on and off, uh... On and off, like there's moments where I just want to play a fighting game because was I played Street Fighter Four. I swear to God, that voice actor, that voice for Tina just kills it, uh, kills it for me. Like actually hearing them talk in uh, English. Yeah, I think I do need to go back to the original setup and not use my custom. Get ready, fight! <laughs> okay. Get ready, fight. I think the reason why I fell out of, like, Dead or Alive was because it moved to Xbox exclusive. Back during the time where Microsoft really threw their money around into games. Because I couldn't get Dead or Alive 3 because I didn't have an Xbox, and then Dead or Alive 4 was dedicated to the, uh... Oh my god! This game is... Memorizing, like, well, it always does that. Like, it will always remember what you use the most. Those, like, Dead Alive 3 and 4, I completely missed out on just simply because it was on a system I couldn't afford. I had most of my fun with Dead or Alive 2. Go ahead, knock yourself out. I think it was, and I like supposed to be. Oh my god, come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright. We never learn how to react faster. Might be better off playing arms now for some reason. Oh my god. Combos. Yeah, here. Yeah, so I can't I can't compare it. Like I don't know like how to measure up. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of a lot of these games. They get so technical, like, you could, you know, do a st stupidly long combo like that. Jackie, come on. Give me a break, man. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. Proga Sweat, juggling trainee. In training. New music. 
I can't believe I have to unlock everything yeah. over again. Let's talk more action. All right. Let's do this. You're in this fighting game, Jackie, because your fighting game went, went the way of the dodo. What the? <laughs> like, you're talking at a pro level. Ninja Gaiden stole Ryu from DOA. What are you talking about? Ryu Hayabusa has always been around since, like, the NES. I think I need to... I need to stop and look at how to, my button set up again. Clearly, I am... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What was the original like? Hold is X. A is throw. What? See, that's, like, that's the other issue, is, like, they throw so many different setups. I don't remember what the original was. Throw, hold is A. I think I used type C, now that I look at it. I did do that, didn't I? I did. I did. I used type C. Let's try this again now. Because now that hold is... Hopefully hold actually goes with the button, I think it is. Alright, let's do this. Get ready, fight! Nope, that did not do it. These button layouts are completely screwed up. Yep, hang on then. Yeah, they really screwed X in... Okay, so... This is a Type C control uh, setup that they say here. Punch and kick is actually Y and B. Hold and throw is X and A. This is this is why. This is this is why nobody can actually really freaking play uh play goddamn play this goddamn game anymore. One of the reasons, at least. Go back to my to my custom setup right now. I know it's not it's definitely not optimal. Have yourself a good night, Eli. Or Eli. That's a lot of eyes in your name, by the way. But have yourself a good night. Have yourself a good week. Ah, priorities. Like, that's the other part. Like, game fighting games got way too technical. Like, it got so technical, the average person can't really enjoy it. Like, there's such a huge difference between... Like your av like what Street Fighter V was, a good grab, and then what it's become now. It's like okay, you have to worry about high, low, medium, guard, so many different setups, and it only gets like more advanced. And I, like, you build yourself into like I think wow, Jesus, an opportunity here to attack. Like, you just don't get an opportunity to really learn how to actually play your game anymore. Or play a game. Have someone new. Go ahead. Like, I think that's why things like Fantasy Strike exist, is... And I think, honestly, I want to actually talk to those guys and get to know, like, what they're... Um... Enjoy your stay. Oh, thank you very much for the, uh, follow, Eli. I, don't, I wouldn't expect a lot of fighting games coming for me, though, I'll tell you that much right now. Especially after tonight. I, I was hoping... 
Really, that's a good com- that is a stupidly long combo. I can't do anything! That was over half of my health. Wow, that is really disgusting. Really? As <laughs> Football player. Oh, love that. Even has the Tecmo Bowl logo on it. That's great. Oh, Damon, why? Is actually is searching for opponents right now. It's a good combo. There's gotta be a quick way to get up. There's gotta be a button input I could do. That is really long. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Ready to face your fate. Get ready, fight! So disgusting, the combos you can pull off. Get out of here. I'm gonna be using this until I can no longer use it. Oh, the pain of counter holds. I couldn't even do anything. Couldn't even do anything. I am so surprised that doesn't connect. So I'm surprised that actually rolled. I'm not good at this <laughs> anymore. It's been way too long. I'm also impressed that the stun, like, th that amount of stuns would never exist back in the day. Like, I think, I think honestly, like, it's weird. Like, now you have the game industry, like, the fighting industry either at such a hardcore point where you have to give everyone such a super technical fighting system. Like, as strange as, like, was it? For Honor. I actually liked For Honor. As, as strange as it is. Like, but the downside of that game was it tried to be two different things. I, yeah, no, I'm dead. No, I couldn't do anything. Like, the downside of For Honor was that it was trying to be two different things. That 
That's all just one long combo you just saw there. I just can't get any ground. Ready to face your fate. Get ready, fight! How is that a oh counter hold? I right. That's one. Yeah, I don't know how to do the whole system in this game anymore. It's been way too long. Yeah, it's been way too long. Like, you just have to be super hardcore into these games now. It's the, It makes the barrier of entry just impossible now. And I think that's why I've moved away from, like, plain fighting games. They're just too alienating for your average person now. And it's even, like, that's even coming from a person who plays games all his life. And if they, you're at that point now, like, that's the amount of cult following you have. You need, you need to just, you need to, to reinvent your systems. But the worst part is, like, the people who will buy your game and, like, you're created the eSports si state, uh, the eSports, uh, I guess, system. They, they only know that now. If you don't provide that level, that super level of complexity and exploitation, they're not gonna play it. They're in a rock and a hard place now. I guess that's the stagnant, uh, the stagnation of this industry. I didn't even mean to do that. I should do that. I mean, I like Jan Lee in Dead or Alive too because his move set was a lot, sh a lot smaller, a lot shorter, and easier to pull off. Like the downside is when they homogenized all the move sets, they made Jan, like even the basic character like Jan Lee, super complex. I'm gonna get comboed. Yep, I got comboed. Never. Come on. There we go. There we go, finally. Arcade green belt. That sounds about right. Select course? Let's select course. Oh, arcade tag team or not. Well, let's be punishing. What's one other character I always played as? Or is she? Don't chum, looks like you're way better at me uh, do this. I don't play fighting games either. No, I'm terrible at these games, honestly. I am absolutely terrible uh, at these games now. Like, that's the, that's the biggest issue with the, that fighting games have. They become too hardcore. You know. Like, you have to spend an absurd amount of time. Wow, is that her? Yeah, that's her original outfit, actually. Yeah, it's Christmas. Like that's the biggest issue these games have. Don't get too worked up. Ready to lose? Get ready, I'm just 
you're gonna lose to her, aren't I? Yep, I got stunned. If they made it easier, I'm sure they do. No, they do. Any, any, any approach. That's why you have this weird market now. What? Why? You, like that's why games like, what is it? Smash Brothers exist. That's why games like Dive Kick even actually took off. You know, they're one-hit wonders still, but they're like they said, it showed a certain level of approach from the fighting game community that your games are too complex. Like, even like this is even back all the way to, like the problem actually even existed all the way back down to the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube. Even when I enjoyed like as much as I enjoy uh, Dead or Alive 2. Like, I like, you know, I liked, uh, Dead or Alive 2, but even then, that's during a time where you had, what was it, uh, Soul Calibur 2. I owned that game, actually. For the GameCube. And... What made that game, you know, the game was fun, but it, like, it, it was super technical. Oh, cool, you can actually at least fight the D uh, the DLC characters. It's a little weird, honestly. <laughs> Always enjoy that. Now, Tora. God, I really need to do a different button layout. Okay, that was actually really cool. Also, I don't remember uh, Lei Fang's moveset. She was actually the other character I tried to master all the way back in the day when I played Dead or Alive 2, but I don't remember her moveset anymore. Because she was, like, the one thing I liked about her was, like, okay, well, I need to know, how, like, because this game is supposed to be focused on doing, uh, you know, doing holds and such, and holds and throws. But I... Dan Lee is a very direct character, like, you mainly do punches and kicks. But I want to actually be a better character, uh, better player. So actually knowing how to do the rolls and uh, do the grabs and such came, you know, to me was very important. Christmas. You have been naughty this Christmas. I have been naughty this Christmas. My god, that was an 8-hit combo. Like, the high, medium, low system, to me, just kind of becomes a problem. Difficulty is arbitrary to use whatever you do. Make sure you only do 1% of this action will go off. Honestly, most, like, the one interesting thing about fighting games I always found was the AI. Like, well, that was always one interesting part, because if you do a move too much, the later you get into a stage, they just know how to counter it. Like, that's how I was always felt about fighting games, is... You play the game, and, like, you try, like, you, you can usually get, like, a pretty good distance, um, you know, through, just kind of using a very core set of moves. But then, it wears off. I also don't rem like, see, I just don't know how to do th uh, the hold system in this game at all. And now that they added the stun system in this game, that makes it even more, um, more difficult. Because, like, you can get these super long stuns. Did I just had a trash can fall on me and that actually affected me? Oh, right, you can't block the dragon kick. <laughs> All right. 
Let's do this. Okay. And the worst part is I don't think we'll ever like we'll ever get it back. Like as although I ironically say that as we're getting a bunch of Street Fighter games, all like what was it twelve Street Fighter games? Although half of them are like um all of the same uh the same game. Or was it? It's all Street Fighter. Like there's four different versions of Street Fighter Two in the darn thing. That's what I always wanted to pull off. And off I go. I think that's what John was trying to show last stream, or during his stream. Yep. That was the other thing, Leifeng has like, insane combo throws. If I could actually get a goddamn hit. Come on. Not even a chance. Oh, I think John was trying to show, like, uh, what was it? Uh, like, try and find the stage with the trucker explode. I find it funny how, out of all the costumes, like, all the... Come on, Zack, give me a break, buddy. Oh, right, he does a low at the end. Yeah, Zack is, if anything, is probably your other, like, I guess, technically easy character. Yep. Let's get this party started! Why am I? I've really got to change my setup. Yeah, I actually knew how to grab people. There we go. Zach, what's your favorite part? Honestly, it's really weird how much they actually like made Zach such a cornerstone of like this game's of this game series now. Like, I know it's like a somewhat of a side plot, but still, it's really good. <laughs> like, if anything, they actually, what Tecmo actually does well in their fighting games is, um, all the, uh, like, inclusions of characters. Like, they really actually do a good job, like, m making the characters have some sort of important role. Oh no, we're back at this stage. No, Kasumi, please stop. Stop in my face, please. Nope, I'm dead. No. Like, you'll always have, like, the, you know, the corporate conspiracy of Doa Tech. Like, I still remember that after all these years, but, like, they still have it where, like, each person has, like, their own, uh, critical part or critical role. And have their own agendas as well. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. No, that's Jen Lee. No, that's why I love Jen Lee. Jen Lee is basically, hi, let's fight. Like, I remember, I still remember, like, the epic scene between Ryu Hayabusa and Jan Lee. And all Jen Lee basically tells Ryu is like, shut your mouth! 
And that's that's kind of how they boil down Jan Lee's character. Oh my god, that's actually really nice. Damn it! I really gotta figure out how to get up faster because I'm just letting myself be like a rag doll here. Like, if anything, the pro like you're probably gonna have a harder time appreciating just because now there's so many different characters and there's they really went over the top with the plot. I'm surprised that didn't knock me out. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Come on. Hey, my my snow my outfit so dirty Damn it that stupid grab Come on wait Get out of here <laughs> I love so uh, no subspace I actually like subspace emissary partially because it was more like a uh, like a streets of rage sort of deal but um Okay, let's fight. Get ready, fight. Like you really shouldn't like the overall arcing plot of fighting games can be dumb, but it's more of the character interactions that you should be that's to me is like the more important part. Like because those character interactions are the things that will help you build the narrative of a, of a game. You know, you can have things like the overarching conspiracy of Doatek, the cloning and such. You know, the shut down Doatek. Jesus Christ, Leon, give me a break here, buddy. I think I know what I need to set up my controller to. I need to set X to hold, or no, A to hold. Ah, oh, come on. Leon, no, Leon, stop. <laughs> okay, Leon. Keep... I'm effectively button mashing here. That is what is, that's basically what's happening in this game. Hoping something will connect. Because, God help me, I don't know how to do the holds in this game anymore. Get out of here. Ready to lose? Get ready. I am. the critical stuns. So many parts about this game that made getting into fighting games so more such so difficult. I thought I was guarding, but apparently not. Nope. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't crush you at this. Like the one thing about Dead or Alive now, 
with things like critical stun and such, you can end up chaining a lot of attacks together, even if you don't know how to play. Like, there'll always be a certain level of, like, randomness in a person just simply trying to do button meshing, because that's basically where I am right now. Just because I don't know, I don't remember Lei Feng's moveset, it's changed over the years. The whole, uh, you know, I'm going against an AI that kind of knows how to do holds. I don't know how to do holds. You know, it's hard, to, like, you have to just kind of memorize, like, where their attacks are going to come from. There's so much technical aspects in this game. Like, the furthest I've ever taken technical aspects in games, in terms of fighting, was with, actually, uh, Soul Calibur 2. And that, to me, was, like, the start of, like, I was noticing, like, oh my god, this is just getting super complex. And that's why it's like, oh, I'm just gonna be able to enjoy Smash Brothers. And then things like Wave Dashing existed, and that just broke the game again. Oh, that just broke the game, I should say. I don't think story mode really... Oh, well, story mode in Soul Calibur was fun. Same thing with, like, Dead or Alive and such. I love the story mode, actually. Like, this one, they made it an overarching narrative, so it's like you're playing you're playing all the characters and stuff. It's not like an arcade mode and everyone has their own individual ending. You know, that that's one thing that definitely has changed. <laughs> Melee was blessed, but then became cursed by the very people who, uh, by the very consumers that played it. That's that's what happened. It's a blessed game, and it was really good for its time. But it became cursed by the very har by the very fans that uh, prop it up for too long and refuse to move on. That's the most important thing. Like one thing you always have to be wary about esports about the esports scene is that you'll always have people who will never want to let go of their fame, and they'll do it by any means necessary. I mean, you can take a look at Twitch's big name streamers to this day. A lot of people who, would affect, who are effectively, like, considered washed up now, they still have an audience. But they'll, like, try to do anything they can. Like, the people, like, let's think about this. Let's take StarCraft, for example. You have some people who played, like, more Western. Let's, let's stick to Western. More, more of the, uh, more of the Asian side. I don't know, but, I don't know well enough, but. But usually people like them, they just kind of, you know, it's a phase in their life. It's something they do. You know, there's something they do for a time, they may be able to make it a career for a little bit, but eventually, you know, you kind of move on. Not so much with... the side. Like, I see people who are huge StarCraft II pl pro players, and they never let go. You know, they, they you know, they, they try and keep, do something to keep them relevant. And that's the same thing with esports. It's like, I'm really good at this game, the only way I get followers or viewers, and I can keep this as a career, is if I main maintain, you know, this one game. And to a point, you know, there's a certain love, there's a certain length, you should actually keep, you know, support a game, and keep a foundation, like, you know, especially today, in today's age, with interconnectivity. You know, it'd be nice, you know, it's nice to actually have that knowing, like, hey, for a lot of years, this you know, um, you know, a community and stuff, but then, you know, you have to work with the actual game developers or game companies, and you really do, you know, if you actually want to stay involved and such. I just, I walked into that. Yeah, I walked into that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Project M. Project M's over and done with. Like, that's, like, the people who were involved in Project M did the smart thing and moved on. They did the smart thing and moved on. They could, I could, you know, was it? There actually is a. I should actually stop you. There actually is another Smash-like game coming out. I'm not, like, there's Rivals of Aether. That's one. Uh, but there's also Icons. That was something I saw at TwitchCon this year. I believe it's like I think their website is literally called Icons.gg. And what you actually have to do is you know, sign up, and it's literally a Smash game. It is a Smash Brothers game. Oh my god, I would like to do something, please, Satomi. You're my, my friend. Well, you're Lei Fang's friend. I was actually surprised. Lei Fang and Jan Lee's like, connection in this series really deteriorated. It kind of sucks, honestly.
I can't play a game in a one weekly spurt for more than 20 60 hours. Could be the best game ever ever since. I can understand that. I mean, ever since I've been streaming and stuff, I've definitely adopted more of a set where it's like, okay, I only give myself two, left out two hours to play a game. And then, you know, you kind of just have to move on and focus with your real life and stuff. And I think that's more of the mature thing to do as an adult, if you don't have a career in doing streaming and such, or doing YouTube and such. I am really bad at this game. <laughs> uh, I love it, but at the same time, I really hate what fighting games have become. I'm guessing that's some sort of like, hey, you're dead, so let's just make it over the top. Okay. Oh, I could marathon games like when I was a kid like a champ, because I didn't have much else, I didn't do much else. I mean, there were other things obviously I would have to do in my real life, but, you know, it's like I could just marathon a game. It's the wall. Ah, oh, we've lost it. Yeah, we lost it. I find, if anything, people have less to do as an adult, depending. It all depends on their stability. Like, if you have a stable career or a stable life, you will find you can actually have a lot less to do in your life, and that gives you an opportunity to actually do more. You know, you could be more proactive in communities, you could actually build your own profi online profile and pursue other activities. But, you know, to me that's the whole thing that's like economics. You know, that's that's an economic thing, you know, it's, it's very much the same thing. It's like money doesn't br make happiness, it doesn't make a person happy, it just makes all the things that make them unhappy go away. My god, Kitomi, let me just throw a punch. I really hate that everyone now has a jumps, uh, like a uh, jump on move. You actually like that you're bored for the first time in years? That can be a good thing. I'm stupid holds. I love I love the hold system, but it's like it only works if you understand it. It's really rewarding if you can pull it off. You pursue other things and get busy again. Yeah. I think the only other powerhouse, aside from Jan Lee, ends up to be Hitomi. Probably actually stop the stream after we finish this, cause the on like it's sad. I really wish the online system in this game has deteriorated. Like there's no matchmaking, there's no lo or there's no lobby system. I should say, it's all just ranked play now. Oh my god, I haven't been able to throw a single punch. I should actually show one other thing that kind of demonstrates the problem of a lot of fighting games now. Like one, like I love the Dead or Alive training mode. Their training mode is actually really good, but there's another mode in this game that is absolutely ridiculous. Come on, I'm, I'm button mashing just because the reaction of the computer is just that quick now.
Nope. You're going to tell me all the girls are supposed to be cute and all, I know. But she sounds pretty out to me, no matter what she's wearing, she's pretty. I don't know, like, okay. there's one thing I'll say about this, for Dead or Alive. Like, like a lot of people say, like, oh, this game is all about fan service. And if you present it as a fan service game, people will think very low of it. But, if you really actually want to know the truth, go back to the original Dead or Alive. Go back to the original Dead or Alive and play through all the others. And I guarantee you, and people will actually notice this, is that the actual breast size, because that's what people focus on, because people get outraged on about this game, of the characters actually have been consistently reduced. They have. Like, they always reduce the breast size of the characters. And part of that is always, is, part of that will always be, like, the art direction and stuff. But the other part of it is that, that these game, you know, people who complain about games, the vocal minority, really actually do have a lot of sway when it comes to, you know, the way characters are developed. Like, they're in hopes to always try and garner more, because, like, like, especially here in the West, you know, we don't embrace... Let's be honest, we don't embrace anything sexual or anything like that. <laughs> but the actual breast size of the characters, like, even if you have things like, you know, hey, let's put this weird physics engine in for all these characters. Like, if you focus on that, yeah, sure, people will think of it very lowly. I want to actually see something about, uh, Lei Fang. I wish I had her original, her original, original outfit. Uh, I find that people need to embrace their... Maybe we need to actually learn how to embrace things. I mean, then again, was it? Like, it's funny, like, people, like... It... I always find it funny. You always take a look and people complain about, like, the people who just play games, the average consumer. And yet... The very reason people complain about things like sexuality and such about games... Or people who actually do, like, actual crimes in relation to sex are actually people who work in games journalism and work in that sort of aspect of the game industry. It's always been hilarious to me, and yet, because of that, it's like, for some reason, the blame always ends up being shifted over to the average person. You know, the people who aren't. Uh, you know, making those complaints. But yeah, no, it's, 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 it's always, it's honestly, it's, it's a mess, honestly. But like, honestly, half of the time when I play these type of games, unless you're like, what is it? Unless it was the original DOA, I honestly never noticed it, because the fighting is just that, you know, intense. Against a high or mid punch? Oh, okay, so it's a combo. But, I should actually show you the other mode here. So this is actually, let me actually go back to Jan Lee. So, that's not it. Let's go to training. Combo challenge. This is the thing that kind of... That's some... I can see this is a good thing, but at the same time, it's also very... Endemic to the problem. Uh, that is this game. So, you know, starts off basic moves. Very simple. You know, something you could do in the training mode. You know, hey, do this move, and then do this move. You know, so it's like, okay, just do one move. That's it. That's all you have to do. Then, here, here's two moves that connect to each other. Then they try and teach you juggling. And this is, like, this is actually a very healthy approach to trying to do it. But look how complicated this gets. Like, difficulty three, juggles. Combo from a hold. Difficulty four, power of blow combo. You know, they're trying to teach you combos, but look at this! Like, it, like that was the other thing that killed me. It's like they gave Jan Lee a stance mode. Like, you took your even... At... You're not even at... Like... Jan Lee should have been, like, the easy... Like, him and Zack should have been the easiest characters, and they gave him a stance mode. Really... 
dumb, honestly. I really hate- that's one part I really hate about Jan Lee since he homogenized his moveset. And look at this. Combo from a throw, combo from a hold, a power launcher. At greater than 50% health, max charge. Combo versus featherweight character. Uh, apparently there's also weight classes in this game. There's a tag combo, apparently. Oh, I should let you know, this scrolls down now. That's like, you gotta be kidding me. This, like, this level of difficulty that exists in these games. And you wonder why your average person can't get into it anymore. It's such a huge difference from playing the original Street Fighter 2 on, like, your arcade and such. What does 50% max charge even mean? Uh, let's go back on. No, at a certain amount of health, you have to have a certain amount of health. You expect that in Fire Emblem Heroes, and I've, uh, I have time to think. Yeah, no, I agree. Like that, you know, I like Fire Emblem, uh, games as well. I don't really get to play a lot of them, because they rarely come out, and I don't own a handheld. But yeah, like that, like, but should, but it's actually should be good, becomes incre incredibly, like, I guess, what is it? What would be the best word to actually use to describe that? It's just ridiculous how much they actually expect you to, uh, you know, learn. It's such a level. Complexity or uh, speed, don't do both. Yeah, like, to me. Let's actually, let's go back to command training here for a second here. Let me actually bring out Ryu Hayabusa here. Okay. I'm still kind of miffed. I used to, I had all the costumes for Ryu. Alright, well, let's make Sanic. Where was that move? Sneak strikes, backs, throws. Here it is. This to me. This to me was impossible for me to do. I've never been able to actually do this move in my life. Like... Like, this is ridiculous. Like, the Shoho Izuna. I've never been able to pull it off. I know other people who've been able to pull off, like, these throws. Let me actually see here. Yeah. That's the Shoho Izuna. There's a demonstration button. That wasn't me pulling it off. Um, but yeah, that's ridiculous. It's that level of complexity that I could never adapt to in games. Like my, what's it? My cousin could. Give interest in fighting games or self-defense score, I'd take the latter. Uh, yeah, no, self-defense would actually be useful in real life. Um, it's like, that's why, you know, it's like, I appreciate more games like the beat-em-ups and such. It's like, they knew, there's, there's always a certain, there's, you can have a certain level of complexity. That's like, that's where, like, this, you know, it took me, like, ten years just to learn how to even do a Hadouken. This is beyond me. Wait, what's this one? Suizo Izuna, in area with ceiling. Okay, so there has to be a ceiling. So it's the same move, but it's that. What's this one? I'm curious. Yeah, that's, this is another move I was never able to pull off. I pulled off half of it. And it just comes to, like, do you have the actual reflexes for it? Of course, I'm using the gamepad, and... Actually, that's not even an excuse, for God's sakes. And that's even if your inputs actually get read. Like, that was the other... That was always the other thing. It's like, I never understood how people did this so fast that their inputs could get read. I actually see one thing. I'm actually gonna do one thing, actually, before we go. Uh, where is it? It's extras? Spectator mode! Computer versus computer. Solo match. Santa Ryu! Versus... Do we have a it's Not the random button. I'll tell you that much right now. Is that the random button? Yeah, that's the random button. Santa Ryu can fight some random person. In a random stage. Yay! Prepare! 
a gamepad is enough. I do like, actually this one, that's actually a nice feature they have, uh, spectator mode. Apparently you can also take photos. Also, just to let you know, those inputs at the bottom of the screen are incorrect. The reason I stopped playing Street Fighter 4, I ended up breaking my, uh, what's it, uh, my Logitech Dual Action. I actually had to go out and buy another one, just simply because it broke from me doing all the, uh, from all the inputs and such. Like, and the physical plastic on the analog stick actually wore off. Like, it was physically... I could physically peel it off. Honestly, I thought these guys would actually have health bars, but apparently they don't. They literally just fight forever. Which is kind of cool, but at the same time... <laughs> Not exactly what you'd probably be looking for. But then again, I guess there's a pho uh, photograph mode. Controller busting fun. Yeah, I didn't even throw my controller or anything like that. It literally just broke over just from use. But it's a darn shame. I guess this won't be. This can't be an option for uh, game nights because there's no lobby system in this game to do actual matchmaking. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for that. Switch to photo mode. Huh? Oh my god, they're actually... I, I was curious about this as well. So... Right button. Save this photo. Uh, sure. What's this do? Oh, okay, that exits photo mode. <laughs> no, let's not save that. So, can I... What's... Zoom in? Why? Uh, no, up, down, no, what's this? I have no idea what the F stands for. Oh, there you go, okay, now it's zooming in. The servers are down. There's no, there's no single version of, um... There's no single version of, um... Uh... This is the PC version of Dead or Alive last round. So this is the PC version. You can download Core Fighters, which lets you play the game, but like I said, the only thing that exists in this game is the rank match mode. So you can't even really play online. It literally is, alright, let's both search and hope we land on each other. That sucks. I don't know how, how why it even fell apart. I could have sworn back in the day there used to be a, a matchmaking system in this game. Back when it wasn't free to play. But that's gonna do it for me tonight. I know I'm cutting off very short, but I have a few. I have a very important meeting to go to uh, tomorrow, so it'll probably be important for me to actually stop. But tomorrow, though, I think we'll do with some other games. I think if any of them, I do Dauntless as our uh, as a game, because at least I know even if even even if that game's in closed alpha, usually closed alpha actually has people who are participating, so I might do that. I'm just trying to think of games, because I don't I don't know if I want to do another Beat the Backlog, because it's getting too close to the end of the year. I'll be taking days like Christmas off, um, just for myself, to be with family and friends and such. So I want to make sure you know, my own personal time is my own personal time. But that's going to be for me tonight. Let me actually take a look and see who is streaming right now. Well, speaking of fighting games, actually... There's Exposure, he's actually playing King of Fighters 13. Uh, I believe that game, game just came out actually recently, and uh, I believe it was Exposure and his friend, I think I Am 3D Homer, are actually trying to do a, uh, a fighting group actually, so I know he's making an effort for that. Um, I've never really played King of Fighters aside from back in the arcades, you know, way back when. Uh, then we have that one video gamer. He's playing Super Mario All Stars and Super Mario World. He's doing his. He, that's where he collects his footage for his Completionist Plus series. Uh, Shout Factory TV. It says Star Wars, but we know that's a lie. It's a terrible movie that you can watch on Shout Factory TV. And finally, there's Smite, who, if you want to actually watch, I would recommend uh, his streams today. He's done a couple today. He's doing Fallout 4 right now, but on his VODs. I was actually took part of his mystery game tournament, where you can actually watch that if you wish as well. 
But that's gonna do it for me, so check out Exposure, That One Video Gamer, Shop Factory TV, or Smite. And that's gonna do it for me. I will see you guys tomorrow, but until then, take care. <laughs>